my dark means. Welcome back to my dark kingdom, and welcome to the DWF series. Yeah, the I uh, decided to make this a series of whenever some uh, DWF has thing stuff happens, and this one is gonna be called. It's gonna be if you haven't read the title, the thumbnail or something. I don't know. Basically, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a random thing. Basically, what I'm saying is that it's gonna be about the things I've seen so far, what's happening in the game industry, and all that, sh and all shit, then uh, uh, and all that shit. All right, and the first on the agenda is, well, our buddy Eddie's at Bethesda, and their stupid Creation Club. Yeah, I said it. Basically, guess what? They did the most stupidest thing ever, and added a survival mode. And before you start getting after me, when I mean survival mode, I mean they're going to be make you pay for the survival mode. Yeah, that's right. They're going to be adding it in the creation club. And, mm, sorry. Mm, I just ate. As I was saying, and they're going to plan to make you pay for it. But if you had gotten it last week, it would have been free for you to play for, for yeah, forever, I guess. Because that's what I said. If I had, but if you had done that, then good for you. You got past the st whole stupidity of making you pay for that f shit. If you didn't, I'm sorry I didn't get to you in time. But hopefully you didn't buy into this bullshit and got the free one instead. The other free one. Because there's literally a mod that you can get for free that already has this. And but that's the the guys who I everybody adored. And who basically brought in two of the most recent favorite my two my most recent favorite ugh, two my most recent favorite games and that is what was it, Fallout 4 and the remastered Skyrim edition which I have played in my channel you can see it in the beginning or something yeah Oh, sorry. You can see a playlist in my channel and all that. Oh, why am I talking? I'm losing our topic. Yeah, and unfortunately, thanks to the Creation Club and the stupidity, they're making it so you have to pay for this. Which, which, why? It was already in Fallout 4 in the first place. You could just change the difficulty to that. Heck, I seen it and you could just change it. But it makes no sense at all. Not only that, if you people have seen other pe YouTubers and other people have seen through the bullshit of this, that once the free thing is done, you have to pay 800 credits. Here's the thought. That 800 credits is just 50 short of what they want to get, make you pay for it, make you get it. Basically, you have to buy two of those things just to get there. Or if you want it fully, you have to pay for the $15 one. But that's still the exact same thing. It doesn't really matter anyway because you'll be paying like $15. Because they have $750 uh, credit, $750 for that. And you're going to get $750 for, oh sorry, $750 credits and that's about it. Which makes no sense and it's stupid. Which is how they're trying to get everybody to do this. Thankfully, they are literally, also, another thing, they also said they're not being followed by feedback by the people, which I can understand, they don't want people to mess around with the games, they want to create the games they want. Yeah, you got that, I'm going to give them that. But they're also saying that they're not motivated to stop the creation club, which I think is what they mean. If that is what they mean, then they're just stupid and bullshit. Now, something else. What else I think? Yeah. And also, I got this information from Young Yeah, which it will be in the description down below. So you know where to find it. But seriously, what the hell, Bethesda? You can get this for free. For free! These guys have been copying everyone. Breaking, say, uh, saying this not paid mods, which is obviously paid mod. It's saying deals, payable, mini deals, these. But you're obviously... They are seriously stealing from other creators, which is a bunch of BS. <sighs> this is just, this is me all so bad. A company that I love so much, who I played their games, who I played the Skyrim Special Edition on my channel, and pl and basically played Fallout 4, which I will be getting the Gold Edition to get all the DLCs. But still, what the hell? 
what else? Another bullshit tomfoolery. No, I think that's it. If I forgot everything, if I forgot anything, then hopefully somebody has already figured this out. But like I said, Young Gear, go look up his channel. I'll have this link down below to take you directly to that episode. To that, uh, yeah, episode, a uh, video that he uploaded showing you this. Alright. Now, next order of business is. What was this? What was this? Uh, oh, wait. No, that's the last one. I had the second one, but where did it go? <sighs> Hold up, I'll be back. Again, I'll freaking figure it out where I left off. Hold up, be back. Alright, I'm back. Now, back to the Welcome order of business. The next one is kingdom. about Today, our favorite game to, to talk about and rant Shadow about is... Da -da -da -da. Is... Why am I <clears throat> Sorry. You, you're probably asking why. He is freaking shadow of war. Well, it's obvious. Oh, I'm got celebrating the real. I'm celebrating. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, the for, they have, uh, they have done it again, and it's I'm doing it now completely because, stupid. Hey, why the not? devs I can't are trying I, their best, again, but they failed miserably. Again, trying to again, tell again, us again. the pl the because game, the guys who want to get this game, that and when the game does come out, I this, will play it on my channel. That the loot boxes will not affect the balance of the game, which is completely bullshit. Right. And this we don't like really really know. They say that. Before. They said they're doing I the playtesting. Uh, and turned out, but in reality, how do we know that? Right now. Which means uh, we, it could be yeah. hard to grind. Not only that, and since this has a multiplayer feature mode, where you can get so the best orcs in your arsenal in rank matches where you can lose your orcs if they get killed off. So for us who play the game and get orcs that we like to keep, we can't put them there. DLC. We have to separate them so from the bullshit. We can, uh, and we'll still get our ass whooped by the people who are willing really to, show you guys to pay money you to get to those shits. To get the orcs, to get the base the gear, to get everything, and blah, blah, blah. Which is bullshit. If that, and it says it doesn't need internet required to play. Here's the thing. What the heck do you have the freaking multiplayer in there for? Why do you have the blue boxes? Which we don't need. The multiplayer, it was a good idea. If it wasn't like this. The game is a bunch of bullshit. Because, well, not the entire game, just the multiplayer. Sorry, revert that one. But, my gosh, they ruined, they're basically having this is ruined. Not only that, if you play Rank Bash, like I said, you lose your orcs. If you, if they succeed in taking the fortress, they can kill all your orcs just to be douchebags or trolls. They have to realize that they're probably going to be trolls and guys who don't care, it might just go after the fortress and kill all your orcs for no reason and just accept the loss. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, and they don't realize that if they attack a fortress that's freaking strong as hell and they lose their orcs, they basically lose the strongest members of the army. Not only that, they had to pay more money just to get them because here's the thing the so loot boxes are the only way to get your army up back to speed and back up to strength fast enough. The only other way. It's by playing the game, and we both know that nobody wants that. People who play, uh, the people who support loot boxes are not gonna try to do that. They're gonna try to pay as much money to get them, just to get it up and running, their army again before they get attacked. Me, I'm just gonna be playing the one where they suggested to put the safe mode, where you can just play and attack each other's uh, fortresses just for fun, and test it out, which I will probably do because in and it's probably gonna be enjoyable but like I said anyone who defends this basic people who defense says yes it will help you grind through the game but here's the thing what's the whole point of playing you're basically going through the game for no reason you need to experience everything and people say oh it's because we don't have enough time today no I had enough of hearing that shit having to hear enough of that excuse that every single person has been is making that excuse oh it's because it, the game is too long oh it's because I don't have enough time in a day guys here's the thing I don't have enough time in, I mean a day to play these games heck I have to use my off time to play some of these games and those are like at night which I only have a few hours to play it literally takes me a month to play and I have to finish a game which I'm used to and I like that 
I used to be able to play and finish the game in a week, but not anymore. But that's not a problem for me. I don't really care if it takes me like an entire month or like an entire year to finish the game. Because at least I am enjoying it. People will say that they can get through it fast by buying these crates. It's a bunch of bullshit and you all should stop defending it. At so much because literally it's just a bunch of bull. I also have a link in the description of Young Yeah again. Saying what was it? Yeah, Young Yeah. Again, yeah, I know he's gonna, he's gonna be up here a lot. It's my link. My my this video's gonna be drenched in description and to other channels. Also, another uh, YouTubers, YouTube YouTubers, which I will need to remember oh, okay. their names. Which is the channel I can't forget. I forgot the names, but don't worry, their links will be in the description down below. It'll be say the name down there. Be, but seriously, yeah, I'm a little bit rusty my here. gosh, what I've is going so on here? Also, if you're wondering what's the change of screens, uh, it's because I'm changing it. That way, it'd be more interactive today. One Skyrim, one Bethesda, Bethesda Skyrim, uh, I don't know, Wardor, Mid Earth, and the last one you'll see soon enough. But literally, what the hell? It's just so stupid. They try to defend this so much, but they feel misery and miserable, and it's pissing a lot of us off more. Trust me, it's literally pissing us all off. And literally, like I told you guys before, that I am not planning to get this unless and after a week has passed and I see all the reviews to make sure that I can play it during my channel so I don't have to grind my ass off so much because I because I got other games where I have to grind on too I can't just set this one set the other one down just to not be able to do the other one it's just gonna be way too much grinding for me no the grinding would be too much if it's fair, alright, because I like grinding. If it's fair enough, but if it's so one-sided that you have to pay for loot boxes, it makes no sense. I would hate it. The devs, like I said, they tried their best and failed miserably. Like I said, I'll put out the links to two of the channels, two other channels here. I'll let you know uh, and just look up around there. Alright. Let's see. No, don't worry, I already know the last one. Now, well, who's the last one? Who's the last one? Ah, yes, that's right. And now, if you have, if you see the cars, I think if you've seen the cars crashing around, then you know what I'm about to talk about. It's not about Carmageddon. It's about Forza 7 Motorsports from Microsoft. And, and like I said, cars, I have no videos of that right now. So I'm just going to be giving you a freaking car smashing around. Which is pretty accurate here because what they did they're basically adding loot boxes in Forza 7. For anybody who is a big car guy, I'm not one. Unless they crash into each other and destroy each other and I get to kill as many, many people as possible. Like Armageddon. But if, I, if but it's just about racing, it that's pretty much a problem. Oh crap. My freaking mic cut up. There we go. I need to put that in a mic stand. Need to get one too. As I was saying. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Forza 7 Motorsports. Basically, they're putting loot boxes. Why? Not only that, it makes no sense at all. It's freaking hilarious. Basically, they took out so many features and guess what? Put them in loot boxes for you to get. So if you're, for example, if you're playing at night, you have to get a managed to get in the loot box to get to that point to get to play at night do you hear me and there are loot boxes you have to earn what's even more worse is that they right now they're not using any real money worth of a uh, real money you can earn them in game the problem is that they said uh, once everything settled down here's the thing they said everything settled down they're going to freaking add real money currency, in-game currency you can buy with real money to use to buy all these features. All the game modes, all the features, well, if, well I hope there's no game modes. Then all you car guys are gonna be freaking out of luck. 
But seriously, what the hell is going on? We this is getting too much in our people. We need to start rising up against these bullshit loot boxes, putting so many loot boxes in our games because it's getting too out of control. Eventually, it's gonna get to the point where nobody is gonna be paying for the game. We'll be buying a game. The game industry is gonna be in real big trouble if we don't rise up against this bullshit. We need to start screaming at those guys to say that no we don't want this and start screaming at them to freaking not play this game to freaking to threaten them that we well not threaten them with their lives I mean threaten them with not buying their games or not buying loot boxes or anything until until they either until they make it fair enough for us to earn the game and they remove the ability to pay for loot boxes in the game and loot boxes only should be cosmetic only cosmetic. No putting in game modes, putting in freaking like sceneries and everything, getting cars and all shit. It should only be cosmetic. Cosmetic. No, no, and we don't have to pay for this or nothing. Because literally, what's the whole point? Because it's basically full on gambling. It's full on gambling. Yep. And just to let you know, eh, like always. I'll put it in the uh, description of the guys who said this. And I have no idea if he put up a video yet of this yet. But if Young Yeah has put up a video, yeah, he's been he's been a talk of the town right now. <laughs> if he has, I'll put it in the description down below as well. Now what else about this bullshit? Yeah, that is all about bullshit. All these videos in the description down below, it will give you more information about this. Trust me. I can they can say it way better than this. And yeah, that's about it on the, on the DWF, uh, this DWF episode of Random. Like I said, the random thing is just me basically con grabbing some things, uh, the way I should grab, like getting information from other YouTubers, saying that what is going on, getting information, and stuffing them all. That way I can get them all, that way I can tell you all at the same time so I don't have to make individual videos. Alright, unless it's very serious and that deserves its own video. Now let's see, Forza 7, yeah, I already discussed that. I already discussed the failure of the devs trying to do monolith. Oh, for the monolith thing, I, WB, you guys suck. I say it again. Because literally, it's them making monolith do this. They don't want to do this, hopefully. But if they're, but WB, that's, it's his fault. It's their fault. It's those bastards' fault. Monolith, I'm with you. And hopefully that our screams at, at, at WB will f make them see that this is not right. And freaking give us back the Shadow of War that we love and love and, and cherish. Sorry, so tired. So freaking tired and hungry and so pissed about this. Yeah. Or at least make it and remove the loot boxes. No, they need to remove the loot boxes so we don't have to deal with this. Also, they need to put it so we don't lose our arcs during gameplay in the online play. All right, let's see. Anything else? I'll just let you guys know. I will be putting up another video today, but that one is going to be a high enough, and you guys know it better, and I will let you guys know. And let's see. Yeah, that's about it. This entire video is going to be drenched in my in descriptions, links. Dear God. All right. So, yeah, that's about it. Alright. My Dark Means, that's about it. The DWF. Like, like, subscribe down below. Comment down below. Share my videos. And just press the little bell next to the subscribe button. So whenever my videos get updated, you'll know when I'm up. And I'm still going to be playing ADF. I'm going to be playing ADF from now on. Because right now, this is the month of Broketober. And we're going to be seeing a lot of games coming on this channel. And I've been seeing a lot of games of THQ Nordic that I'm going to get. Yeah, teach Crew Nordic. Uh, yeah. I'll let you know uh, how those games are. And we'll be enjoying it together. Alright. My Dark Minions. Dismissed.